And we begin. Tony Stark. Yes. I'm just gonna keep saying things that sound like Stark. <laughs> Wait, what? This isn't where we ended. Yeah, it was. Remember, we ended on the loading screen? And this is what loaded. I don't remember. That was like two days ago. Well, you do have the memory of a goldfish. By the way, I I end up failing this mission, I think. But I'm doing it on... But it was kind of intentional because I wanted to show something. You want to show what happens if you fail? Well, no. I wanted to show something that kind of bugs me about these about these uh, pizza butt missions. Look how much time they give you a minute to kill 15 people, basically. Yeah. Now you only have to kill one of them. You only have to kill one. Of them. The one with the gun, the target. So why are you killing everyone else? To show you, to show you something. Oh wait, no. You only have to kill 10 people. Okay. You see, by the way, the target has a gun, so he's gonna be interrupting you. So what are you killing? Basically, they don't give you enough time to actually kill everything in the easiest of the missions. See? Hmm. And this is what happens when you fail the mission. You get kicked out of the mission, you wait for it to load, and you have to go back to the... Uh, Building, we accept the mission, then come back. Hmm. Bishop, I had a bad day. You had a bad. Can't say anymore, or we're getting sued. Travis. <laughs> um. Now, with that being said, here's the annoying thing. Um, it is. I don't know. I'm sure it's physically possible to get a, a gold ranking on that mission, but I never can. Because you literally have to kill the target in 10 seconds. What the fuck? You killed yourself. Yep. Shortcut. So you do take a lot of damage. Or you drowned. You just go back to the motel for no reason. It's all the same. And I did that because your motel is very close to kill entertainment. The thing is, the job center, the place you're going to be going to after each mission, because it's the only place that updates, is on the other side of town. Uh, I think I'm... Paying the dew real quick, so that way I, I just Did get... Did you see that water? I'm sorry to interrupt you, but... Oh my god, that is horrible. Uh, sunshine this ain't. Did I just... Maybe... No, I couldn't have. This part wouldn't be 16 minutes long if I cut out the successful run. Because what I'm doing is I'm trying to make each uh, mission its own, uh... Like, part. Yeah. And I seriously don't know what's going... Oh, I... I'm just keeping the bike away so I don't axe it... Because what I end up doing by accident a lot is I park the bike right next to it, so when I try to enter, it'll get on the bike. Or when I try to get on the bike, I enter. Ugh. Now, to be fair, that's not the game's fault. That's just me being a lazy jackass. Yeah, it's all the same. That is clearly the Japanese actor trying to speak English. If she's supposed to be saying, may you find your true path, but it sounds like, may you I your opapa? And considering Ronnie wants to learn Japanese, I think I just made him want to kill me. Meh. He's already learned Japanese, at least as much as he wants to. And this is the second time in a row I crash into that thing. I'm backing up and making sure I have enough room to get out of the way of it. And I don't think that's the and last time I crashed. What, what happened to the coconuts? Oh, that, those didn't have any coconuts on them. Why? Because I didn't have a mission active. That's stupid. Actually, I think if you activate the mission, you can get coconuts on that tree if you could get there in time. But uh, I don't know why. It would literally be impossible to get back in time. That's a copy-paste trick. Could you not ride your bike? I wanted this. No, I mean, like, to get to the coconuts. Oh, well, you could, but you couldn't ride it back. Yes. And a Loki ball... You can ride through it, Jake. But I couldn't be getting all these treasure chests, and then you'd be upset about yes. that. Nah. Yeah, you would. Not anymore. You've got all the money you need. For this part, but yes. keep in mind, that's a lot of money to have to give up. I was showing that you could basically use your beam katana to dig in the dirt. Why? You can that... find buried treasure, and I don't know what this thing is or why it's here. It's a statue. But you find more than one of these, and they're always in corners. Easter egg? I, I I don't know. Maybe that was a collectible at some point, like if you looked at it. 
Because there was no reason to look in this game. I swear they had things planned for this that never happened. Well, yeah, of course they did. That's what happens with little budget games. Yeah. Oh. I assume everything's perfect in 2, though. Um, well, I think the story is all... Did they carry over a Hub World or no? No, the Hub World's completely gone. Oh. So, no Loki balls. Sadly. I think a Hub World would work very well in this game. It just needed to be done properly. Well, it just needed well, to be done. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's not that this isn't wrong, it's that it's incomplete. Look! The, look how big the hitbox for the cars are! Also, my bike is bigger than the cars! <laughs> Though that's probably intentional. And it is fun to just run everything you see down. Yeah. Though it makes it very plain you know, when you run into a telephone box and you wipe out and get sent flying off your bike. I don't know why you went down here. I thought there, I thought there was an alley b behind that, and that if there's an alley, I think, oh, Loki Ball, better get it. It's an understandable mentality, okay? No, nope, disagree. Dick. But yeah. yeah, for now on, whenever I, you go to this location a lot, so whenever you go here. After this part, I'm gonna just edit to when we get here. Okay. Provided I don't find any, like, Loki balls on the way. If I find a Loki ball, I'll cut to me picking it up, and then cut to the next thing that matters. Oh, hey, there's a Loki ball in this location. Oh, hey, I'm at the mission. No, literally. When we get to the later parts, there will be moments where you see me editing to where I pick up five Loki balls. Go, go, yeah. Sounds fun. It is very satisfying to kill a lot of people that way. I think you would have enough time if you got them all together and did that. Well, I probably could have now because I got lucky, but I don't think the mission should be that luck-based. Yeah. Like, I don't think rather not you... And even then, I've already lost the uh, ranking, and I've already failed this once. I'm... Actually, uh, I just said, no, I'm going to let you live in your wounded state, and I'm killing this guy. By the way, these missions are canon, actually. Because yes. in No More Heroes 2, they bring reference to this. Oh, hey, look, you killed everyone. Oh. I guess I wanted to prove a point. And I'm killing him with a wrestling move. I don't know why. Because it's fun. Yeah, I always wanted to s stab a CEO in the pelvic. Imagine his cash call. Oh, God, I, yeah, that, just, that just turned me on. Felt good. I think I just creeped Ronnie out. But yeah, I got a bronze rank despite the fact I managed to kill all of them. Yeah. That's the annoying thing. Like, you will not know what constitutes the ranking until you do it. Hmm. Some cases, it's how many of the enemies you kill. Sometimes it's how fast. I think it's once again a part of this game being incomplete. Uh, no. I, I think that just goes down to bad design. Mm, no, I think it's Simply because of the way the uh, ranking screen shows up. Because there's a lot of empty space so that's just covered with a grid for absolutely no reason. Well, that's probably... I, I attribute that to an 8-bit throwback. But it's just... It feels too... Because you would see... I would think of it more if they were doing it like that, where uh, the stuff would be in the middle and your metal would appear in the middle, not off on the side. I don't know. Because the metals are surprisingly detailed if you look at them. Yeah. It just feels like if they it feels like if there was a blank spot in the middle, it would be where the objectives were. I guess. Like this, I can get why it's the way it is, cause uh, you start filling that thing out. Yeah. Wapa. <laughs> so, what else is that's in this a blue episode? star? Yeah. Um, this next one. Um, you... Actually, this mission was properly unlabeled. If you read it, it says kill until your health runs out. Yeah. That's not true. Just kill until you run it. Just kill until they run out of enemies. Um, I'm not gonna lie. If you're playing on bitter, you could maybe die, but otherwise you have no excuse to fail this one. Because the timer is way more uh, nice. I was trying to think of a word that be a uh, lenient. That was what I was trying to think of. Yeah. I don't know why, my vocab's usually better than that. She disappeared. Yeah. Oh, no chase. Yeah, you hit someone so hard, they temporarily fade out of existence. So that way you can't kill them. They don't want to die. There's a Loki ball back there. I get it later. Or do I go? I didn't even see it. I just feel like, okay, there's a small opening to the beach. There's something there. Actually, the beach has no Loki balls. Then why? Why is it there? Why is the beach there? Yeah. There's a level there. Oh. And you also do assassination missions there. And it's one of the two missions I'm not going to be doing. 
Because it sucks. As in hard, or it sucks? Um, it's not fairly designed. Like, it's something that if you get lucky on sweet, you might accomplish. And on top of that, I think it's a waste, because by then you already have a very effective means of grinding money. Because... When we get to the end of the game, there is a mission that when you that if you do it as well as I do, you will get enough money for the next mission. Yeah. Because you'll get over a hundred thousand LBs for doing it, right? It's all good. This one is simple. Just kill every last bastard you see. You don't have to think on this one. Three, Just kill until it says mission complete. Alright. I don't like the downward swipe one, I prefer the uh, horizontal ones. Yes. But I think the downward swipe ones kill enemies behind him. That's a lot of- you know, that's a lot of hurts. Yeah. The downside is, like, I think you saw me, I was trying to get that guy behind him, but the one behind me keeps hitting me. That becomes a real problem when you get to the machine gun enemies, because they can easily hit you off screen. Yeah. And they are more accurate than you would think. It looked like you just glitched into that SCP. Maybe I clipped through it for half a second and then the game realized, oh crap, you're not supposed to be in that. It's basically what it looked like. It looked like you were struggling to get up and then you spawned out of it. Oh wow, I actually got to stun a beam katana enemy. That that almost never happens. And I jack off for celebration. It's all the same. I, I do that the same at the end of every mission that I ha feel like I can get away with it. Yeah. But I don't know why. But you see how, like, it's a weird shape and it feels like there should be something else there? Oh, uh, yeah. It, it seems like that there what maybe could have been something in the middle or maybe the text was going to be bigger at one point. Because those are surprisingly big squares. Yeah. I think if the squares were a lot smaller, it'd be a bit easier to accept. Killing yourself again? Ah, what do I have to live for? Well, you're hurting your bike. I think it should cost you more. Actually, uh, your bike does crash at the end of the game, and you find it in No More Heroes 2 in, in a... Well, Spoilers. Okay, I will i won't spoil that, but I will say in this game, in fact, I think after the next boss, we do meet the person who makes all of Travis's stuff besides his beam katana. <laughs> By the way, uh, we do find a Loki ball. Why is there this long, stupid path? You could have just gone the other- I didn't see that there, okay? You could have- you... Shut up! You wasted so much time! Oh, please, like you were gonna do anything better with it. I wouldn't even get the Loki balls. Yeah, you would. You get some pretty nice abilities with them. No, I don't think I would. I mean, I would get nice abilities, but I don't think I'd spend my time collecting them. Not your first run. Your second run through run through on my- on- Mild, you would. <laughs> Because one of the abilities makes it so that way it, you get more money if you uh, kill more enemies without taking damage. Combine what, that wait, with- Wait, what did you just pay? I just paid the fee. To fight? Yep. By just shoving money- Travis solves problems the same way Seto Kaiba does. He just shoves money into it. That's basically what it looks like. He literally, It looks like he walked up to an APM, held up a brick of money, and just shoved it into the screen. <laughs> yeah, he, he does that. And we get to see him do that eight more times. Um, once again, this is just me, like, doing this to prove a point. Um, my recommendation is don't <coughs> overlook the Loki Balls. Because I didn't realize this later, but I purchased something that makes finding these a lot less painful. That like, map? Well, no. Oh, wait, you have a map. Well, no, because here's the thing. Um, once we get to the Russian drunk, thanks to an upgrade I purchased, it'll tell me where they are on the map. But I forgot that. So, yeah, a map. Yeah. Do you want a Loki ball to find more Loki balls? Do you want a Loki ball? Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna get shirt. Whoa. Oh, you're right. This one's number 82. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. He started with like nine and then eight. Uh, it's it seems to be completely random as to where they're placed. Money. Whoa. Yep. Uh, it's gonna be money again. Yeah, 50 50 shot, man. Oh, no, it's a shirt. No, yeah. It's okay, I can win my money back. You just lost that money we got from... From? The 
Trash. Trash. Why why is there money in the trash? I'm curious. Why is there twenty thousand? Or two thousand? Yeah. Okay, considering how much um pants cost, because uh, that that two thousand it couldn't buy it wouldn't buy you a belt. Okay, so why does it cost so much to do an assassination? Um, again, we... he acts like a hundred and fifty thousand is a lot, but she says it's a bargain considering all the stuff he's getting. Well, again, they do address this later. But yeah, his pants cost a fucking fortune. Oh god, uh, you don't want to know how much his pants cost. So what's the point? Of what? The outfits? It, it feels like the, the money system is wrong. Um, the money system returns to Normal Heroes 2, but you don't need to purchase uh, rank fights. Okay. You just use it to get weapons and uh, clothing. Hey Travis, the next fight has been prepared. Destroy Stadium. Dr. Peace is waiting for you. Hop to it. Travis is so poor so you... Do you do anything before the boss fight? Or do you just go straight into the fight? Um, you, there's always a level before the fight. Okay, that's what I was thinking.